Hello guys, welcome back to another midweek magic and today, funnily enough, it's bro, the format we least do on this channel. I was low-key hoping it was going to be standard bro, just to, you know, give the format a chance, it's been years since I did it, but alas, it's uh, our usual bro, no complaints there. Uh, and instead of like making specific decks, I'm just going to revisit old decks that I've played on this channel that I really, really enjoyed. So we're going to start with Nashi Flash, which basically is a Sotai Flash deck. I'm going to play a couple games with each deck, I think I'm going to do at least three decks, and depending how the games go, we might do four. But yeah, this deck is just uh, your usual, uh, well I guess it's not that usual. We only have instants and flash creatures, we are trying to do everything on opponent's turn, uh, tons of interaction, I do like the wash away. I do not like the rest of the hand, so we might go back. Could be greedy. Uh, yeah, that didn't work. <laughs> but it's okay. We have a wilt so we can maybe destroy something early. Okay, we're not getting thought seeds. That's always great. We will get the blue green land. Let's get the blue green um, surveil land on Hedge Maze here. Phone, who's messaging me right now? Okay, my phone doesn't want to turn on. That's great. Uh, no, I don't want a spectral say Like, I don't want like a counter spell. A removal spell will take. We might just cycle this at the end of the turn. Let me yeet my phone away so it doesn't vibrate. Okay, that actually is something I wouldn't mind killing. Then, hmm, command power is nice. Okay, for now, like, we're vibing, we're vibing. Opponent plays the commander, we kill the commander. We could just run this Tidebinder as a creature out just to try to put a little bit of pressure onto them. Like, this is fine, we're just gonna inferno grasp it. Lose two life. Go up on this one play anymore. Only took two interaction pieces for opponent to be like, nah, I'm done. So easy, easy dub, easy dub to get started. Nashi was like my favorite deck for a long, long time. I actually should show you guys. Well, let's see what we get from this. We get a. I already had it. Nah, we kind of hope to find cards you don't have. So just to go through the deck, we play the game. I should probably go through the deck first. Um, but yeah, well, like we're playing. We have no ramp in deck, we're running zero like creature ramp, we're not even running uh am I running Arcane Signet? Not even running Arcane Signet. So we're literally running I think thirty nine lands, then we have forty lands in total, and then the rest of the deck is just this instant only. I guess well, never mind there's there's one singular enchantment. I wanna say it should be here. No it's not. Huh, I thought it was uh Never mind, I don't actually know what my enchantment is. Anyway, it's like we're just running multitude of creatures that have flash, counter spell creatures, uh, removal creatures, and then we're kind of rebuying things with Nashi. There's a lot of small little combos, like Nashi with obviously Mana Drain is really nice, Nashi with Paths of Twin Veil, I want to say, is also really, really powerful because you keep making Nashi cheaper. Uh, and the rest of that is just kind of like have removal, we have counters, we have card draw. Uh, the, the new card I just added to the deck was Subtlety because for some reason I didn't have Subtlety in the deck. But yeah, this was my favorite deck and then and then Eluge came along. I've been really enjoying Lumra as well. I've been enjoying Breya a lot. Uh, the red deck I uploaded yesterday. Genkis Khan playing a mono red deck. That's pretty cool. Um, the, the red deck I uploaded yesterday I've been really enjoying it as well. I'll keep this. I'm not super happy about it. Nah, we can use these to trade. No Ragavan, please. Okay, that's fine. That I don't care about. Uh, we don't need to take any damage. Well, from my own land, I mean. Uh, attached to. Okay, so each thing attached to Valduk himself. That's fine. This doesn't have haste, so I don't care. I will trade, like, my Mastermind for any creature, honestly. Same with Malcolm. I don't think I need to get value out of them. I think just using them as a removal spell is. Uh, they seem to have one mana something here. Is it a lightning bolt? Could be like an aura as well. This great shock seems a bit slow on the draw. But alas. Mm, that's not a bad draw. I'm much more keen to trade the Sailor for the Spitzer. Although, um, they play Valduk here. I'll take the damage for a turn. Yeah, they'll play the Valduk, that's great. I'll kill the Valduk. 
let me not waste any time. Next turn, like I can play the Sailor Pro as another two drop. I think I kind of want to be mana efficient for these early turns, especially because we're on the draw. We kind of don't want to end up like just we, we we might lose with a bunch of cards in hand. Uh, I think I still play the Swamp here. We don't need green just yet. Like green is the I think it's the card we have the least in the deck. The color, my bad. We do have a couple of double greens at four or well, triple three double greens in for Mystic, Mystic Snake, and Night Pack. I'm be sure. That is okay. They're getting a lot of creatures out. That's obviously a bit worrying. It doesn't have haste at least. Okay, let's see how this goes. Trigger. I'm gonna play the Spectro Sailor and I'm gonna play the Fairy Mastermind to trade. I could trade the Malcolm, but I think I'll trade. Eh, actually, we'll trade the Malcolm. Oh, they're killing the Spectro Sailor? Is it a Lightning Bolt? Was I right earlier? I would trade for the Scott Spitzer. Scorch Spitzer. God, I, English is uh, very difficult sometimes. We'll go here, here. I mean, obviously we get the Pelican Monstrous Rage would be a bit annoying, but not the end of the world. They're obviously looking at a removal spell. They've been looking at a removal spell. Oh, that's, that's fine. I, okay, cool. That's two for one for me. I'll take it. Mm, I was hoping for an untapped land there, but this is okay. This can still trade for the Rabo if they don't move the thing around. No removal spell is a bit awkward. Oh, I guess I have the Earth's Eye. Do they swing with both? I'll trade with both. Cool, let's go. Block here, block here. Boom, boom. Land is nice. Pass the turn. We only have a go for the throat on the graveyard. If it's. We'll, we'll put a stop before they go to combat. Is there a stop there? I can't see if there's a stop there right now. Why is there no stop down here? Please don't let them get a token because the game is being a bit buggy. Can they please not make encounter the Voracious Retreat Shark? I will do it. Otherwise, we're just uh, tying the Valduk away. Depends what they do here. We're probably gonna get a basic land. I don't. F we're playing as mono red. I kind of want to preserve my life total at that. I actually had no reason to fetch that. That was a slight mistake on my part. Uh, for some reason, I thought I was doing the great shock, but I'm not. Uh, let's do the hedge maze. Does this change what I want to do? Cottage is not bad, but uh, I think we can do better. Cool. We're gonna go earth side here. Resolve, destroy target creature, they make no tokens this turn, now the uh, commander costs 7 mana. I would trade the uh, tie, it was made for trading. That's so fine, uh, Tai got this value, that's a 2 for 1 for the uh, tie. we'll take those. Who's this does? This would feel attached to target creature. That's oh okay. Uh, okay, we just pass the turn. I mean, we have a really, really powerful hand. I feel like they will concede when I play this Voracious Great Shark. I think it's very likely they will concede if they go for the commander and I counter it. Uh, I will counter that one as well. And now we have a five mana, five power creature to put pressure onto them. We're gonna play this, we're gonna get back the go for the throw, just to have a removal. We have mana drain up, and the game is over. We we managed to stop the early pressure and we kinda of, now we just need to close out the game. So we're gonna take a couple two, three turns. Oh, we're taking them for nine. No creature lands. Like they can't resolve anything. Yeah, like mana drain. I I probably shouldn't have mana drain, I should have just go for the throated. But it doesn't matter at this point. Like, they can't cast a commander ever again by the looks of it. Uh, we will do this on main phase since we have the little bit of extra mana there. Hopefully we get another counter, because that was a mistake. I should have go gone I should have gone for the throat. Yeah, I should have gone for the throat instead of mana draining there. Um, I don't want to land. I mean, that was an easy choice there. You can be my ring bearer. Bearer? I barely know her. I bear and there we go. Two easy dubs with uh, Nashi.
on to the next deck. I think we're gonna do, let's do Lumra. I've been enjoying Lumra. Lumra wasn't uploaded that, I think it was the last week I uploaded Lumra, but I've been really enjoying the gameplay of Lumra. So let's get the rare we get here. Is it a cool rare? Please be one I don't have. Oh, it's a mythic. Man. I already had a, a different version of it, so that was not great. Let's do Lumra. So we're gonna have a little look at Lumra. Pretty simple uh, ramp deck with self mill built in it. Uh, we have a, most of the one mana ramps, if not all, for the green ones that we can have. Uh, we have a bunch of ways to put lands in the graveyard, be it like milling, be it sacrificing, be it to sacrifice find other lands, and so on and so forth. Scape ships super powerful. We have a bunch of landfall abilities, and then when we play Lama, we get a bunch of lands, get a bunch of triggers, and we kind of go off from there. It's kind of the idea. Uh, I found that Lumra with the call oh, what's the four mana four mana alchemy guy that when a land comes into play you create a copy of it the name is, is me my something when mm, when the thingy loads I'll tell you guys the untapped thing loads I can see the name there we go uh, cool where where is he where is he where is he myth weaver pog or pog whatever have I say it Super powerful. This hand is so awkward because obviously turn one ramp is amazing, but we're not doing anything for a couple of turns. I think we're gonna be greedy. I hate Magic the Gathering. We'll be greedy one more. We'll keep this. We'll throw away that. Yeah. No, I'm not sure. Okay, let's say help. How, where is Howdy partner? Where's my Howdy? Holy cow. I could not find my Howdy partner. Uh, we'll play green on that one. But yeah, Myth Weaver with Lumber is disgusting because Myth Weaver only triggers once a turn, but he triggers for all the lands. If the, all the lands enter at the same time, he, he triggers for all of them. So if you enter five lands at once, you get five triggers. Um, I mean, if they counter this, this is okay. I could obviously go for an instant speed one, but this is going to be very, very gross next turn. Th uh, this is going to get two treasures. This is gonna get two treasures. I can play this to get more treasures. Nothing from them. This is very interesting. Mm, Lord, Lord of the Alpha, powerful, but not. I mean, not the end of the world. We'll play this out. We'll get a treasure. I don't think I've ever made a food with this. I'm not gonna lie. We're gonna fetch with it. Get another treasure. I don't think. Yeah, we can't get quite enough to cast our Lumra here on four. Oh, we can. But I don't think it's worth it. I think I'd rather do it next turn anyway. Just so we can do all of these guys first. Get two lands into play. This is so gross if you have Spelunking. Unfortunately, we do not have Spelunking right now. Spelunking with Lumbra is so gross. I, w I hope they get a Amulet of Vigor on Arena as well soon. Just so we can add it to the Lumbra deck and make it even more consistent. Get a couple of lands, more triggers, and I, I will cast this Seda Wayfinder as well, just to try to get more lands into the graveyard for next turn. Obviously, if they hold up counter spell, we might not want to do it, but... Do I offer the trade? Nah, I don't offer the trade. No way in hell I ever offer the trade here. My creature is so much more important than your Oracle of the Alpha. They only have one blue mana. Shimmer of Theo is an interesting choice. Yeah, that's so fine. I'm gonna draw a card next turn. What could they have for one blue mana? I mean, obviously, there is counter magic for my Lumber for one blue. We're gonna hope they don't have it though. They have something for one. Could it be Brainstorm? Could be like a Dive Down. Oh, Sylvan Safekeeper is way too greedy, huh? We are gonna hold full control here. We are gonna be very greedy. And uh, this is fine, this resolves. So, yeah, I mean, we're gonna see if this resolves. If this resolves with the trigger on the stack, we're gonna sack a lot of lands just to get a bunch of Titleist Provisional triggers. Uh, cool. Sack a land. Oh, it's horrible because you gotta do it on full control, but we'll do it. Submit one. Submit one. We obviously can't kill all of our lands, otherwise our Lumber just dies. Which we could do, and then we can recast the Lumber, but I kinda don't wanna do that. 
We're gonna keep the one with the... Cool. Now we let everything resolve. Oh, I didn't draw the card. That was a slight mistake on my part, but that's okay. A lot of triggers. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have anything to do with our mana right now. Maybe I was supposed to let the Lumber die just so I can cast it again. Don't know. I think at this point we can attack with the Titleist Provisioner. Oh, I guess we also have the Woodland now, it's active as well. Brainstorm, okay, cool, I got it right. Uh, I can get a. Col yeah, I can make it into a Colossus next turn, and we're gonna be hitting for like 26 with the Lumra and the Colossus. That's pretty gross. I'm gonna put a stop on my upkeep because I kind of want to fetch on my upkeep just so I don't draw as many lands. Mm, that's fine. It's fine. It's not a problem. We'll make another treasure. <laughs> uh, we'll swing for three. I'll trade at this point. Like I have 16, 16 freaking treasures. I don't need this tireless provision anymore. Does this have cascade? That's have cascade itself. Cool. That takes a little bit of mana away from them. I'm actually gonna hit for 28 with this land, with both Lamra and the other thing. Let's see what they hit from the Cascade here. Hopefully nothing grows. On Super Shea, eh, that's fine. That's super fine. Like, generally, couldn't kill us. Weird to say it, but could not kill us. I'll offer the trade here. Bottom? Mm, they're thinking so much about it, that's not good for us. Could be like a time walk of some kind. Obviously killing this uh, Immorty is not going to be as easy as I would like. Really not what I wanted to see right now. Not another land, so let's fetch. Maybe I wasn't supposed to trade, but like, come on, we, we're going to hit some uh, actual spells in a moment here, so it should be okay. We're fetching now because I want to get all these lands back when I cast this Lumra. But yeah, we play the Lumra, trigger, bring all of the lands. Mmm, Maltani is a good find. Um, we're gonna make this... Does Maltani have Trample? We're gonna make this into Maltani. No, actually we shouldn't make it into Maltani. Because I can't get the Maltani back then. I think we have to make it into a Colossus. Obviously Titan is also nice, but we'll make it into a Colossus instead. We're gonna swing for 19 damage. We're gonna, well, let's the damage go through first before I do this, because they're gonna put lands into my hand. Uh, we're gonna ret oh, actually return the Boseju, and let's return a Thatch land, I guess. Yeah, let's do that. Then we'll play the Moltani here. And I have a Boseju up, you push comes to shove. Oh, this is good. This is uh, very good. A Thornwood Falls, that's fine. <laughs> I, I feel like every time I play against Oracle of the Alpha, they draw Time Walk. And I feel like it should not be as easy to draw Time Walk on your 100 card singleton deck. Even if you're scrying like twice or three times. Alas, it seems to happen quite often. Pass the turn. Obviously, we still have a bunch of pressure for next turn, unless they like play something insane here. Oh man, these are some disgusting draws, my friend. These are some disgusting draws, to say the least. Time walk into Rivers Rebuke. Still okay, like I'm not dead in the water, but god, that, those are some disgusting draws. Lose, lose all my treasure as well. Very gross, but nothing I can do, man. Another top, okay. I mean, the woodlands will not be lethal right now. I could attack with the woodlands. Like a primeval titan, swing for six, get a couple lands out of my deck. Oh, I can, actually, we're gonna make it into a tireless provisioner. Tireless Provisioner. I mean, obviously they have a counter spell. They have a counter spell. There's nothing I can do about it. They do not have a counter spell. 
I mean, if, wow, I've hit zero lands on that. That's a bit gross, but okay. Uh, we'll make a treasure at this point. We'll make a couple of treasures. We'll make a food as well, because we are getting a bit low. Get another forest. We're running out of forests, so it's not a bad thing to say. Uh, play this on green. Play the safekeeper. Play the Moltani. And we're gonna pass the turn here. I'm not gonna offer this trade. Please no more bounce my board or things of the sort. Come on, you gotta get some. <laughs> oh my god, yeah, that's pretty nice. You know, hit two time walks. Hitting two time walks is pretty nice. Pretty good draws, pretty good draws. At least they can't attack. Got that going for us. What is your last card? Oh, they're also going to be out of gas, which is very good. Yeah, we are going to sacrifice a land. We are not getting a surveil. And I'm keeping my Moltoni in play. Cool, so they have one draw step to kind of find anything here. Or they die next turn. So this is fine. They got extra turn, but it's not going to matter in the end. Unless... <laughs> I swear, man, this is so gross. What the hell? What the hell? <laughs> they just... Oh my god, they hit three three time walks in the top, I don't know how many cards, because they also put extra cards in the deck. And now on the blind, they just hit another one. Okay, we're gonna destroy this. Especially if they put it on top, yeah, they put it on top, cool, we're gonna destroy that. But like, is there, is there more extra turn stuff? What else can they hit at this point? Because it's getting a bit gross. That's three extra turns. And that one was on the blind, man. They have nothing. Okay. This should be fine. Like, we should have won the game now. Right? Thank you. Good. <laughs> I was about to say, man. Come on. <laughs> that was kind of hilarious, though. Like, what are the odds? I think they had like 90 plus cards in the deck. Uh, what are the odds they hit? Probably, is that the only, the last card, the extra turn? No, this can't thingy that I can think of. But there were not many extra turn spells left after hitting two, and they somehow, on the blind, empty handed, extra turn. Didn't matter in the end though, so we'll do our final game with Lumra, and then I'm gonna move on to the final deck, which is gonna be Breyer. Ooh, we have a little bit of a ramp mirror. We're gonna be on the draw, it's gonna be rough. We're on the play, but this hand is terrible. This hand is... I mean, it's a key, but I'm not happy about it, because obviously we ramp, but we ramp into nothing. We have nothing to do on turn two. But I think we still have to keep it, though. I don't think it's worth going to six when you have the turn ramp on Birds of Paradise. They also have a ramp. They also have a ramp. Oh, can we please draw something that costs four mana? Three, four mana, please. Yeah, nothing about that. Can we draw something meaningful? Okay, we are gonna play one more game with this deck. <laughs> We're gonna play one more game with this deck. I think that one was just a bit of a bad draw, and uh, rather than you know just be sitting behind the whole game, well, let's move on to let's try to get another proper game with the deck. Unfortunate. Needed to draw either a land. A 2, 3, or 4 mana spell, and somehow I drew 2, 5 mana spells. It's like, ooh, who are you? Who is you? I don't know who you are. Adventure Starring Spell, okay, that's fine. Huh, that's a funky card. I don't want to keep this. Uh, we're going to go to 6. Yeah, this is so much better. This is kind of greedy, but I uh, no, I Nah, we're greedy in this household. Are we greedy in this household? We're not greedy in this household. We are greedy, but not that greedy. 
think this is if they're gonna be playing counter spells, this is important to find a cavern of souls. Is my delighted halfling gonna survive? It does survive. Fantastic. Cool. We low key wanna draw land now. Okay, that's fine. Fantastic. We play this guy out. And we play this. I guess I didn't need this because of the halfling, but they're also playing red, so the halfling was unlikely to survive, but we got lucky in that sense. Now we can see the. Like, we obviously don't have that many um, lands in our grave. We have zero lands, but Lumra, if he returns like three lands, we're gonna get three extra lands from the Meek Weaver. Which is really gross if you also have a Spelunky in your deck. Okay. I think opponent's about to have a really terrible time. If we had a land at least one, two, three. Oh, we got three lands. That means we got three extra lands into play. Oh, and maybe have messed up. I don't know if I should have triggered uh, or the the different way. No, it didn't matter. Cool. Oh, they come to play untapped as well. I kind of forgot about that part. Not gonna lie. Good game. Yeah, it is good game, my friend. <laughs> it is good game. I mean, it is the power power level of turn one ramp. Having a Myth Weaver, having a Lamra, it's just like you're not beating that. Fantastic, we got the game there. Let's get the final deck, which is gonna be. Do -do 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 Brea Control, let's submit the deck first and then we can look at the deck. This is just a straight up uh, control deck. For color control, we have zero creatures in the deck. Yeah, we have zero creatures in the deck. We're running a lot of mana. Like, just lands, we're running 42 and we have. Just this line, we only had 42 lands, but we have like a lot of um, mana rocks, make that 6 mana rocks, and then we even have the search for a scanter as well. I guess 7 mana rocks if you can't keep the archive. Bunch of counter spell, bunch of removal, bunch of wrath, uh, card draw, card advantage, and it just plays like a genuine uh, control deck. This was my go to deck before Bloom Borrow came out, and now I'm kind of, you know, I'm testing different decks, you know, to get the videos out, but I, I, I was. Uh, kind of in love with this deck for like a month or so. Mm, if we had blue lands, I would be very keen to keep this hand because of the mana drain, but no blue lands. Mm, only one land for this. Yeah, this is a mole. Much better. Not super, but much better. We have all our colors. We have. We have a wrath now with the mana to cast that wrath, which is always great to have. Hard to come by. Um, cool, that's fine, nothing can do about that. No thought seeds, please. Grazie mille. We'll play the Polluta Delta to get another blue source. If they play this, we're obviously gonna counter it with a wash away. Oh, we probably want like a blue, 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 white source, maybe? We have a lot of red. Dark ritual. Ah, oh, that's gross. Not the end of the world, but uh, it's pretty bad for us. I think we bedevil it. I think that's the play here. Let's get a meticulous archive. Actually, I'm such an idiot. Now I can't bedevil it. Good on me, man. Ah, oh, I'm such an idiot sometimes. Well, let them get a little value out of that, I guess, because I messed up. Live and learn. It's not the end of the world, like, it, they can't minus it on me. They're just making creatures for now. Yeah, we're gonna counter that guy. No land would be great. Gives a really good shot to us. They do have the land. It's not the end of the world, though. I think we do just go for the bedevil here. Black, black, red, that works. We'll go for the bedevil. Which I was supposed to do last turn, but next turn I can uh, rough. I messed up, I messed up this game, but maybe we can uh, find our way back. We have already the mana to cost this white, white, black, black. Because our uh, creatures are non basic lands. I guess I do have a basic land. I, I play four basics, one of each, just in case. You know, sometimes you do need to fetch um, basics so you don't die. Cool. Take the 4 damage, play, play your commander please, there we go, do you have the extra land? They do have the extra land, a bit gross, but okay, it is what it is. 
Is it what is it? It's a four four. So I can use the I can play the Brayer and kill it using sacrificing the two things. Nice. Uh yeah, we're gonna vibe. They vibing, we vibing. We managed to salvage despite our mistake, which is really good. If they play this, we will counter it and bounce the arcane and draw a card. Now it's just about like, you know, mitigating our value and kind of finding a way to close out the game. Return and target player. Draw a card for for that. Nyland. The command is so far away from being cast. No counter magic. I think I'll go Soren here. Obviously I can easily get punished. But like I don't have counter magic anyway, so I don't think it changes anything. I might as well just play a threat without getting extra cards. Not what I wanted to see right now, but that's okay. Arcane Signal that I don't care. Do I have a way to remove my Soren? If it's just a straight up one for one, yeah that's fine, I don't care. Huh. The question is, do I just play these out and work for like a big? I think I I think this is a big enough Sphinx Revelation. What is it? It's a Sphinx Revelation for five, which will help us find like not only counters for future stuff or removal for whatever they play this turn. Like if they play the Talia, they chose not to. You're gonna get a. Eh, we don't need to get a base. Let's get a blue black land. Let's get a watery grave. Eh, actually, let's just get a swamp. Mm. No, they could have land destruction, so we'd rather have um, basics in our deck. X equals 5, gain 5, draw 5. Oh jeez, those were not... Those were not the lands I wanted to see, I'm gonna be honest with you. No, not the lands, the cards I wanted to see, if I can be honest. We'll play the Brea out. If they kill it, I don't care. Restless Reef. There was a lot of lands drawn there, no counter magic, which was kind of what we were hoping to see. But like if they kill the Brea, I generally could not care less. Brea was made for dying. The prismatic ending can kill the Thalia. We have a deduce at the end step, just to kind of, you know, go through a deck a little bit further. Casualty of War. Not the end of the world, I think I'll gain some life. I think I'll gain 5 life, I'll select these two. So this is okay, the casualty is only getting a land away from me. I go back to 25, I lose a land, but like, oh no. It's a la vie, la vie, you know? Mm. No, we're just gonna get some mana out there, I guess, at this point, since we're not drawing much. Again, we don't have a counter spell, so there's no reason to hold up mana for counter magic. Let's just get a bunch of mana for the future. Easy dubs, easy dubs, despite me making a big boo-boo early on, despite opponent playing a, uh, was that a turn 3? Was that a turn 3 Liliana, turn 3 6 mana walker, we still managed to get out there and win the game. And we get a card that I don't need, but anyways. For the final game with Breya Control. If you guys enjoyed the video, do leave a like to subscribe. I'm looking for suggestions of commanders you like to see built. Uh, I obviously have a few already, like... Um, in the library to kind of just record. I mean, I'm still missing a couple res here and there. Scrolls. But yeah, if you have any deck you'd like to see, do let me know. I will try to get to it as soon as possible. Is this a keep? I think it is. But hopefully they don't have a turn one ramp. Hopefully they don't have a turn one ramp that makes things uncounterable. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> we kind of want to get the mana for the counter spell, but at the same time setting up for Kaya's Wrath. So we are gonna fetch a Grixis land. No, we're gonna fetch. I don't know. Let's fetch. Let's fetch an Asper land here. If I can ever click on it, fantastic. I would love to draw some lands in my 42 land deck. If they play something I care about, we obviously counter it here. If they go for like the Cheddar Fang, for example, we find a blue-black land here, I think. 
Blue white? Nah, mm, blue white land. I think we counter this, so. Nah, we don't. We let them have it. Let me get a blue. Let me get a blue white meticulous archive here. They're not gonna do this now, so. Let's get a meticulous archive. Try to look for more lands here. Setting up this guy rough. Anyway. I love that card, but I do need my lands now. Dig, we're getting close to the dig as well, which is obviously nice. Take the two. No, this is better. Tails and are not bad, but again, I think I just need to look for lands and also putting cards into my graveyard seem really good with this dig in my hand. We have two ways to clear the board soon, so like even if they play this out, it's not the end of the world for me. Don't care, like these don't matter. Those are very pretty lands. What? Those are not snow lands. They literally covered in snow. How is the land covered in snow not a snow land? This is ridiculous. My immersion. I might counter the first one they play just to kind of like, aha, uh -huh, you're gonna have to try again next turn. Just kind of slow the roll a little bit. Again, also getting cards into the graveyard for this dig, I can already cast the next turn. If I draw fetch, I can cast it for two. Take three, down to 18. Also, you need to be a bit careful of a life total. I think Prismari Command is good enough. I don't... F yeah, let's do that. Like, I don't need to hold anything else up. I might Prismari Command to kill something, depends what they do. <gasps> That's so rude. I'm gonna dig through time. Because you are so rude. And then they're gonna play something that can Kaya's Wrath. Do not touch my graveyard. Now you have a colorless land because you are trying to be rude to me. Uh, ooh, Fractured Identity is nice. Uh, actually, is it that nice against them? I don't know. Brothers with Ending. I'll take a land for sure. A red land because I'm missing my second red. Like, let's take the Fractured, I think they could, like, I'm sure they're playing a lot of tribal stuff, but they could have some stuff that don't, that don't matter. Uh, I will go Kaya's Wrath this turn. And then I can... Ooh, does that change my opinion? Nah, that doesn't change my opinion. A nice 2 for 1-ish. 2 for 2, kind of, I don't know. Next turn, if we need, we can Kaya's Wrath. Sorry, we can challenge our Awakening Fern, we have legal time, we have a Fracture, like we're vibing right now. We obviously want to get this key down just so we have more mana to work with, because our deck is a bit mana intensive at times. That is a bit annoying, but I don't think I need to destroy it just yet. Okay, they're playing f yeah, the Fracture is not going to be great against them if they're playing full on uh, Squirrels. I wish I could destroy the trail, but alas, I cannot. I think we're going to take this turn off to add some mana into play. What can we hit here that will be really good? Ah, oh, this is Striding Chen. I'll take the Time Warp. Time Warp just being used as like an explore and get a counter in Night Clock, that's, that's good enough. We also have 3, 5, 9 mana. 3, 5, 9 mana. We can do prayer and Time Warp. Then... Mm, Take three. Yeah, we need to be careful life total though. We are a bit low here. If I draw land, I might time warp. Uh, do I? I don't know. Can we get punished by going Chandra? I don't think so, but I think I'd rather time warp anyway. Just, you know, just take another turn here. Uh, and we're gonna put a counter on this, obviously. Getting this closer to 12 is very, very important. Take my other turn. That's not a bad draw. The question is, do I go ill time or do I go Chandra? And I think I go Chandra here. Minus, minus three, and then if they have something, I can obviously wash away. If it was a way to save this stuff. Minus three, my Chandra. Ex it doesn't exile, does it? It's the other one that exiles. That's okay, though. They can sack a food so they can get a trail trigger. Yeah, I'm playing a control deck, my friend. You're playing a creature deck. And you chose not to do that. Good for you. 
Uh, don't care. I do think they're gonna concede next turn when I wrath again. Doubling season. That one I kind of care. Yeah, that one I kind of care. You're not getting that one. Good signal scene though. There we go. Another dubs. We lost only the one game because I didn't want to play it out. So yeah, uh, as always, deck list down in the description. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, do leave a like. Mm, hopefully I can bring another video tomorrow. It will depend if I can get enough wild cards for the deck I want to build. But uh, there's any deck you would like to see, do let me know. If you enjoyed, subscribe, like, and all that stuff. And leave recommendations down below of decks you'd like to see. doesn't need to be from Bloomborough. It can be older commanders that I haven't tried yet. Uh, I've done a lot now. I think I have 100 plus videos on my channel, 150 plus videos. So yeah. Anyways, until next time. Adios.